Welcome everyone to It Tastes Different Gaming Appetizers. Today we're going to talk about Xbox getting xCloud for the uh, Series X and Series S. So basically Microsoft is bringing the xCloud gaming or Xbox gaming, uh, cloud gaming, xCloud is what they call it, uh, service to the Xbox One and the Xbox Series X and X. S and X consoles, which allow you to download your games before you, uh, or unless you stream your games, I'm sorry, before you download them. Getting mixed up here. So that's a pretty cool idea because, uh, you know, there's several games on Game Pass, and apparently when this comes out, there's going to be about 100 or so, or maybe a little more than 100 uh, Game Pass games that you can try this out with. And basically, this would allow you to fundamentally uh play those games before you download them and what i've heard is that it even lets you play it as you download it so if it is something you like you can play it as it's downloading now uh that would be a pretty cool idea because what if you could just you know what if this is a game you want to play and so you start streaming it as it's downloading and then once the download is done it just switches over to the download Right. So, okay, it's done. Let's cut the stream and just play natively on the console at that point. Um, This would be a really cool idea, especially for games that you're not so sure about. Maybe you want to just stream them real quick onto your console and try it out and say like, ah, I'm not really into that game, you know, 15, 20 minutes or an hour into it. You're like, eh, this isn't really what I want. So I'm not going to download it. Then you don't have to take that time to download a game because some of these games can be really big and can take you, you know, depending on your internet speeds and stuff, take you 30 minutes to maybe an hour to maybe two hours to download it. And if you could just stream it real quick and figure out if that's something you'd like, that's a pretty cool concept. So I'm really interested in this. I think this would be an awesome idea. You know, I'm not super interested into the whole streaming thing, but if it's something that's utilized as a more of a, uh, a feature or a utility than just a straight platform uh, as kind of like a, Hey, here's an add on where you can just, you know, or uh, some sort of plugin where you can basically just stream the game and play it for a little bit. And if you like it, cool, go ahead and download it and play it natively on your console. You can still stream it if you want to, but I'm sure you would want to download it natively, but still, this is a cool concept. Cool idea. I like it. It's supposed to come out this fall for insiders and supposedly by this holiday of 2021, it should be fully released to everybody else. So that's an awesome idea. I can't wait to try it out. Uh, Patrick, what do you think of this, man? Microsoft finally found a place to put that dead horse, huh? That actually has use. Everybody's been beating the ga- the cloud gaming to death. Many have tried. Most have failed. Microsoft, I thought was going to fail with it too, but... This is actually a pretty legitimate use for it. I mean, I'm oftentimes that 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 Game Pass game looks good. I might want to play it, but I'm like, do I want to download it? Um, Or I'm like, oh, it's going to take too long to download. So I'm not even going to try it. So if I could try it before I download it, you know, try it before you buy it type thing with this, then uh, that's a pretty good use case for it. I am uh, I am surprised and I will say that I didn't think about this, but that's a good use for it. Try it before you download it. Um, I won't play very much of it, but it's a great concept, as Nick has said. So you, Microsoft, well done. You finally found a reason that I can get on board with cloud gaming, because before then, I'm just like somebody put the cement shoes on it and put it at the bottom of the lake. I don't want to hear it anymore. But Microsoft came up with a good use for it, so I can get behind that. So I will definitely try this out because there are plenty of Game Pass games that I just look at and I'm like, I'd like to try that. But I'm like, I don't have time to wait for it to download. I'm gonna go play something else. You know, and I don't or what I do is I end up downloading it and forgetting about it and moving on before I try it and then I never play it. So this will be a good way to see if I really want to play something. Shane, what do you think about this feature, man? This new use of cloud gaming from Microsoft? I don't know what to think. Um, I've done the streaming to my phone. Worked surprisingly well, Um, but I'm not going to play on my freaking phone. Um. Uh, but I, I think it's a pretty interesting ideal implementation. I'll wait till they implement it and then I'll you know really make a decision. But I, I like the ideal to a point. And I think the main thing that's going to come from this is um, Microsoft uh, with the release of the new Series X, Series S, Jesus, I hate their naming concepts. Um, 
they're they're a lot of people had a problem because they they're forward thinking consoles or backward thinking, however they rephrased it. So Halo Infinite, for instance, will be able to play be played on Xbox uh, Series X or the Xbox One, or sorry, not Series X, the One X. Jesus, go oh, Microsoft fix those namings. Uh, but you know the older Xbox One consoles, you're supposed to be able to play the Halos and stuff like that. And what they're going to end up doing is because the Series X and S have more power, more meat behind them, they're going to stream these games to the older consoles. That is is that is a good ideal. It's also a scary ideal because if that's the only way you can play in the net, forward, backward thinking that they were talking about, uh, you know, when they first announced the Series X and all that, um, that could be an issue. Uh, as long as the as long as the streaming works well, though, um, that could be pretty cool. Like uh, my son, he has my um, One X, so if he could play Halo that way, be great. If he can get a better uh, graphics and gameplay and all that because of uh, streaming it. I don't know how. I'm not a tech guy, so I can't give you any tech bull crap words because that's just not me. I know the dongle goes in the thing, and that's about it. Um, but I like the idea, but it also worries me because uh, I don't want to see that as an implementation for future consoles. Well, we're just going to you know, give you a little box here and plug it into your TV, and there you go. Uh, I want my consoles. I want my downloads. I want my hard disks. I I don't know how to feel about this, though. If they pull it out of their ass, great. If it works right, great. Uh, if not, I don't care because I'm not going to be streaming. Uh, I might try it out, though, for, you know, just to try it out. Uh, if it works great, you know, I'll probably implement it more because I do like the idea, like you're saying, Pat. I don't have to waste my time downloading a game that I'm not sure I'm going to play or I'm going to like. Um, the other night, last night, uh, we were going to jump on a game. You still needed to download it. If you could have just hit stream while it was downloading, that would have been cool. But, you know, implementation is what I worry about because uh, my internet is, uh, let's just say, wonky as hell. Nick's got a hell of a lot faster speed, but even his goes special needs on us. Uh, Pat, you're the only one with damn good internet that's pretty stable. So, I Nick don't know. will get it soon. We got fiber at my house. Nick's gonna get fiber soon. Yeah, but I don't know. Uh, Pat, you're you're probably surprised more than anybody because you have always been screw streaming crap. Uh, you know, the Stadia or whatever that piece of garbage was, you know, and I agree with you. I mean, our internet structure in this country ain't set up for that kind of stuff yet. So you have to pull some wizardry out of your ass to be able to stream. Right. But to be able to use it as a preview thing is something mm -hmm. I didn't even think about to do with it because I'm like, why put all, why is Microsoft, you know, in this, I don't, I don't get the reasoning behind it. I get the consumer side of it as a consumer. This is a great thing. As Microsoft as a company, why waste money on that infrastructure? What are you going to gain from it? Are they just trying to slide it under the door so they could say, see, it does work. You should do this more often with all our games. You should just stream them and never download them. Uh, maybe that's what they're trying to do. I don't know. But that's never going to be for me, even with great Internet. It's not for me because you're not only stuck at the Internet at my speed. I'm stuck at the other side. So Microsoft's data center is getting hammered. Uh, Microsoft data centers getting denial of service. I can't play. So it's never going to be for me. The network infrastructure in this country is not good enough for it. And we have too many dirt bags out there who, are, who have ill intentions to bring stuff down that can interrupt my gameplay. Um, so I, I was sorely surprised when I read this cause I was like, and, and I it was like, Oh, that is a great idea to use streaming for as a demonstration of the game. So I don't have to waste my download speed. So great concept, great idea, Microsoft. I didn't see it coming, but I'm still not going to do it full time gaming. I'll do it to test the game if I want it, but that's about it. So I don't I don't get what they're gonna what they're gonna achieve with this. Why waste money on that infrastructure? Um, unless they're trying to slide something under the door all slick like that. Yeah. And like I said, Nick, do you think that Microsoft is kind of testing the waters to future basically streaming boxes? I mean, because we we've already had rumors of uh, built into TVs, uh, so 
Um, no, I don't think so. I think they'll always have a console that's dedicated. Um, I think they might have streaming devices, like you were mentioning, like the TV having integrated or dongles or various things like that, or to your phone or whatever. I think they'll still have that, but I think they'll always have a proprietary piece of hardware that you can use to download and play your games on. Um, I don't, the, you know, like you guys said, the inform, the internet structure, even in the United States, is still not good enough to supply uh, cloud gaming structure. So I don't think Microsoft, you know, if that is their plan, it's not for very, very, very many years, right? Until that gets in the place where we're like, you know, we're like Wally uh, at times where we're just sitting in a recliner looking at our, our video phones on our face, you know, uh, and playing our games or whatever. Um, so I think this is just a way for them to to put that, they, you know, they want to they kind of want to push this cloud gaming and it's just a way to put it in there. But they thought of a great feature for it. Like Pat said, they thought of a good idea. Like, hey, you could download, you could stream this before you download it. Right. And that's an awesome idea. It's like, yeah, of course, that <laughs> makes sense. And it also makes sense for the, you know, it's coming to the Xbox One, too. Um and, you know, and you kind of talked about it too, Shane. We we're kind of worried that Xbox One would become like a streaming box. But, you know, what you got to think about is a lot of developers are coming out with games, especially recently, and especially in the 2022 and and and, and increasingly in 2023, where they're going to be Series X and S only. So for those Xbox One gamers, how do we get them to be able to play these new games without having to go buy a new box? and keep them into the service of Game Pass, we allow them to stream those Xbox Series X and X games on their Xbox One. Now, it's not a definite, like, the greatest, you know, option, but it is an option, right? That way, developers don't have to develop for Xbox One games anymore. They can worry about Series X and S, and those Xbox One people aren't left in the dirt. They can still play it. They have to stream it, but they can still play. So... You know, mm. it's kind of a win-win in that situation. Could this mm. revive the demo? Could you imagine no. that? You could stream a demo of the game before you buy it. I mean, I think demos are dead. I would, I would love that. Maybe Microsoft can bring it back with this for their consoles. If that's a, if that's a requirement now for new games, is that you have a 15 minute demo or something. How awesome would it be that I wouldn't have to download the demo to decide if I want to buy the game? I could just I could just be in the store and be like, let's stream a demonstration of this game. How about this, though, Patrick? The good idea during E3 Gamescom, all these games for Xbox, you can stream them during that time during E3 or whatever and play them on your Xbox. You know how sometimes they put a demo here and there? Yeah. Stream it like a little. They could even put a timer on it where like after 15 minutes, the, the, the stream ends. Well, yeah, like uh, when you go to actual E3, when they used to have E3 in person and they had the demo booth set up for games that nobody else could play. But the people who are at E3, you could have virtual events like that where you're streaming the game that you can't play because it's not out yet. So you can just play like a tech demo of the game that's out only for people in person. Like, that's a great idea, Nick. And, and Microsoft, hopefully you're listening because maybe you can revive the demo. <laughs> Yeah, I missed the demos. Uh, didn't if I remember, I wasn't 360. Uh, one of the things the developers had to do was supply demos uh, for 360. Yes, every game had to have a demo. I loved that. I had so many demos. Uh, the reason they've gotten out of it is because too many broken games, uh, in my opinion. I mean, well, that and from my understanding, for demos, like from my understanding, like listening to developer talk about demos online is that it's not just taking a chunk of your game and just cutting it off they have to develop the demo like the demo has to be developed separately from the game so that was just cutting into a lot of r&d for you know a lot of you know developers which most developers don't like putting out demos for that simple fact that they have to develop something different but yeah i mean with a stream though you could cut the stream off off. yeah Yeah. like after 15 minutes the, the stream cuts like you can't play it anymore, right? And that would be an easy thing to do. Like, okay, you now you stream ins, right? You know, you don't have to change anything. You could play the first fifteen minutes of this game, and the stream ends after fifteen minutes. That's it, or maybe thirty awesome. minutes, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Microsoft. I mean, uh, those are great ideas. I mean, this Hire is how us. you can revive. This is how you can revive 
the the demo. You know, we just as Nick says, it's a 15 minute tech stream. We're renaming it the demo to tech stream. Microsoft exclusive. <laughs> you know. Right, like they can do like world premiere and then show the the trailer and be like, all right, you got 15 minutes to play it on stream right now. And it's like, oh, shit. As, okay. we, <laughs> as we give the servers the internet hug of death. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. <laughs> and bring back Summer of Games, Microsoft. Yeah, Summer of Games. Um, yeah, I think I think there's a lot of promise in it. And if anybody can pull it off, it's, it's going to be Microsoft. But I still worry. I don't want that to be the future of my games. I want to be able to buy the disc. I want to be able to buy the... Uh, you know, just download or whatever. But um, I like everything that, you know, that we've said here. And uh, speaking of streams, we better hurry up here. Does anybody have anything else they want to add? <laughs> Watch our streams. <laughs> don't cross them. <laughs> yeah, don't cross the streams. Yeah, I think we're done with this one. It sounds like a cool idea. Yeah. Um, I'd like to see what happens with it in the future, but thanks everyone for watching. Make sure to subscribe. Make sure to like this video, comment down below. What do you think of the streaming? What's your ideas? Do you think the things that we thought about are cool or is it stupid or what's your own idea for it? You know, let us know. So thanks everyone for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye. See ya. 